Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? I apologize if you hear me talking low. Just because my throat is still kind of sore. I got medicine and I got different ways that I'm supposed to treat it. So I do feel a little bit better, not gonna lie. Um, but this week's episode, I'm supposed. A kid from the last dungeon moved to the... <laughs> I'm so disappointed with this title, man. I wish it was shorter. I was looking up on YouTube what people were titling their stuff. You pretty much just do it. Um, you gotta remember there's only a hundred words allowed in the title, so... Yeah, that's usually why I don't put anything after the title, but... <clears throat> This week's episode really had Lloyd looking the strongest he's ever looked. Um, to see him doing these things and keeping up with someone who just got ridiculously powered up and has been <coughs> sitting inside the tree, which I think she was draining the magic from the tree, or the t- t- tyrant, tyrant, whatever the heck they call it. Um, so while she was doing this, she was building up strength. She was waiting for Lloyd. And then she even got to use his friends as targets, right? Like, she spared no expense to try to get her damage off. And that's the dark type of fighting I was looking forward to for Lloyd just to um, get an understanding that this, those people are out there. Those people are going to attack any and everything to get the advantage. And if that is the case, you got to do everything you can to snuff them out. <clears throat> but, of course, of course, <laughs> Lloyd being the person that he is, only throws her and pretty much guarantees her life to not be taken. Um, the really weird part was seeing the true boss show up and attack the Guardian. After attacking the Guardian, taking this crystal out and breaking it. Thus making the seal weaker for the dungeon all the way back in the strongest place. But it doesn't really add up uh, fully. Because this this snake had been skinned. And because his skin was other places. He's still alive in some shape or form. So I think that's why um, the immortal needs to grab her in this belt. And take them back to the dungeon so they actually have a way to strengthen um, the barrier or the seal again. So, the one thing I always forget is, <laughs> this thing's only like 12 episodes, man. I was expecting, like, the way the story's going, the way that it's getting better, the way that things are going. I was expecting to get like 20 episodes or something. I, I completely spaced it that this is pretty much like 12, 13 episode show. So... It's probably going to come to a conclusion with him. Um, This could be the conclusion arc right here, right? Going back to his old town. He's already fought in ridiculous people here. Um, They're going to be probably willing to send out this guy who just got the title of Dragon Slayer. Freaking Alan, bro. (laughs) Alan is like the equivalent of... I just had it. (laughs) <laughs> he's the equivalent of Genos from One Punch Man. He just takes all the credit for every single thing. But I do love the fact that Lloyd was the true one to only see through this person's persona or see a darkness within him, unlike other people who saw him as a priest or saw him just as like an old man. Lloyd saw him as a bad bad man, like an evil aura, just all the bad stuff. So Clearly, we're getting towards the end of this season, and I'm definitely interested in how they're going to handle it. This was only episode 9, so if it is 12, we still got 3 episodes to go, so I'm still excited with that. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I hope you sleep sleep well. Now, um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're enjoying it, morning, evening, night, whatever the case is. Thank you for the support, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.